Welcome to Zero Page Homebrew. I'm just checking the levels here because I have to set everything back up. Check, 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 check. There because we go. Because Atari is purring so loud that he may have disrupted the system. Welcome back. Welcome. Welcome to Zero Page Homebrew where we play new, very new games on classic consoles, specifically we the Atari 2600. We have been known 600, to. Once in a while. Every occasion fully. And we're broadcasting at 60 frames a second, so make sure you're watching at 60 frames a second or you're missing half the games. Or you'll be chastised by him. Because you'll be typing in YouTubes and going, the games look weird. Why do they look so weird? <laughs> and flickery and weird. It's because you're watching at 30 frames a second. And the, do it better. The 2600 runs at 60 and some games utilize very special effects by flashing back and forth the two frames, and if you're only seeing one of the frame, maybe you're only seeing the upper half of the character you're playing, and not the lower legs, and he's floating in midair. It's a thing. It's, it happens. We're also joined by Atari, and I think you can see Pixel down on the webcam, kind of the black little area there. Yeah. He's covered, covered by names. Covered by names <laughs> in between the two uh, arcade joysticks. Uh, we are back after a very, very short break. You were just here. I was. Uh, we did the uh, Atari Homebrew Awards. Yes, we did. I to, remember. To much success. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Great success. And uh, we gave away uh, awards and talked to people uh, that won the awards and dressed up nicely and had two cameras and whole bunch of fanciness it was, yes and, it was very fancy and intros and things like that and um yeah it it uh did very well twice as many people watched it as last year ah and sweet. by any standards that's amazing yeah yeah um so i'm really really happy with the whole the whole thing um because it looks good it sounded good there is no issues no mess ups no like oh we can't hear you or things like that you could hear all the call-ins, you could hear us, and the green screen worked really well, mm -hmm. and, every, and really good feedback. Everybody seemed to like it, so I'm really happy about that. Me did too. You, did you enjoy it? I did. Oh, good. It was fun. Um, I'm just going to bring up my notes here. We have um, three games to play today. One of them's uh, Save Gaia, the Psy Mage, and that's all one, one, one title. And uh, it is the world premiere of this game. We're so lucky to be able to have the uh, first playing of the game. And uh, it's made by the person who's in the chat, Generation 2 Games, uh, and made by Michael Brown, a.k.a. Evo Mikey UK, in uh, the Atari Age forum. Second game we're playing is Street Rod 2600 by Anthony Quinlan, a.k.a. 2600. Um, it is an update. Um, this one has not been released in the Atari Age forums, um, so exclusive update. I think he'll be putting it in the forums right after, shortly after. And we're also going to be playing uh, Pro One versus One Pro Tennis by Edward Smith, aka EA Smith, and he's been doing a lot of um, games, uh, games that are related to sports. He did the beer pong and the bowling and a bunch of other ones we'll go through. So welcome to everybody who is watching the show uh, live here. I want to thank the Twitch subscribers first. Cafe Man 2D, Captain Classic, Charles and Chuck, Coconut ED1, Dan AVC, MU Dan, Gretams, Ground Trooper, Ice Bosta, Johnny WC, Carl G, MK Smith, Mr. Fix, Muddy Funster, Nathan Strom, RC70, Repentless VG, Six Sweets, Sir Cat Leg, Spartan 581, Spiceware, S. Ramirez 2008, The Welshman 89, Tiki Dan K, and T. Fos. And I want to thank Spartan 581 for resubscribing. Uh, he's sub subscribed for six months total now. Nice. And he's on a two month streak. So he stopped <laughs> briefly, but he's back again. <laughs> and he said, good evening. Yes. Welcome to everybody in the chat, uh, including Ice Bosta, Retro Salary Man, which is a new name. I don't know that one. Dan ABC, Generation 2 Games. Like I said, we're playing their game off the top. Nice. Uh, Spartan 581, Dios Kilos, RC7E. Arena Foot, and everybody else, S. Ramirez 2008, and everybody else who is lurking, and I supposed to. What's the infinity button below send a message? Uh, these are little things that I can do. I have infinity channel points because I'm uh, the moderator. I so I can I remember like, now. highlight my message. Hot. Welcome all. Let's see. Welcome all. And 
I get it highlighted. Wow. And there we go. And it costs you 100 of your infinity points. <laughs> uh, there is a limit, and the limit is infinity. <laughs> and you can approach it, but never get there. <laughs> I was like, but you said you have infinity. <laughs> Damn, it cost me 100 infinity of my infinity. Infinity can have a limit. Uh, there could be infinity points between two finite points. Yes, there can be. Yes, that is true. But there's no limit to the points. There's only a limit <laughs> to, to the range between them. That's right. Between one and two, mm -hmm. there's a limit of two and a limit of one at the lower and upper range. But in between them, there's infinity points that you but can just go to. as many Atari's in there as you want. As many as you want. And you can support the show as well. Uh, you can subscribe for free if you link your Amazon Prime to your Twitch Prime and click subscribe. Oh, he woke up in a fright. It's like, <laughs> oh my God, there's a show going on. <laughs> Good morning, Pixel. And it usually uh, bites his brother's neck when he wakes up. Oh. As a token of his appreciation. <laughs> That's uh, what it is. Make sure you also uh, follow, subscribe, and click like on all the things. Twitch, YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, all them. And uh, we have a poll question in relation to the awards. So let's uh, get that poll question up and going. Let's see if that still works. I haven't done a poll in a little while. Click and click. Yay, it worked. Um, so the question is, did you watch and or vote in the second annual Atari Homebrew Awards? I know a lot of people watched, but the increase in votes was only about, I think, 15 to 17 percent, I think, mm. taking into some other things into consideration, which is still an increase, but not as many people as increased in watching. So. Um, so number one, uh, I voted and watched live. Number two, I voted and watched it later. Number three, I didn't vote, but I watched it live. And number four, I didn't vote and, but watched it later. And number five, I didn't vote. I didn't watch. I'm just here for the cats. And that is a good excuse. You can be here, be, be here for the cats because they are pretty, pretty amazing cats. And, uh, uh, Retro Salary Man is, uh, did not watch it and did not vote. Most importantly, he's here for the cats. And he is here for the cats. <laughs> and like we said, that is the most important thing. So we'll check back later on the voting. Oh, actually, it's up on the screen, so you can see it right now. Wow. Uh, as it as it comes in live. Is that how it's supposed to work? Actually, um, sure. Sometimes <laughs> I don't. Sometimes I leave it till later and then turn it on after and we take, take a look at it after. But you guys can see it live. This time. This time. This and lucky. not because we screwed up. <laughs> no, it's because it was intentional, one hundred percent. It's assumed that you are here for the cats, Barton. It is yeah. assumed you are here for the cats. It's number five means that you're just here for the cats, <laughs> and that the other things do not apply. Not for the games. <laughs> not for us. Just the cats. That's right. And they are cute. And this one is named Atari, so even more so. Oh, you can't see Atari. Why is my? It's not very wide. I'm gonna have to look into that. Yeah, no, all you need to do is get a box and yeah. sit them up here. That's true. Okay, so you can't see Atari right now. There is a gray cat down here. Mm -hmm. um, so, yeah, the award show went really well. Really happy with it. Um, but uh, there's another award show um, that uh, I wanted to announce because I saw somebody starting it. It's the Hack Awards because we dropped the hacks uh. Uh, this year from last year. Um, so it was announced on Tuesday that Scott Dayton will be holding the Hack Awards in the Atari 2600 Homebrew and Hacks Facebook group. Uh, and he said, Hack Awards, since the Atari 2600 hacks were left out from the Homebrew Awards this year, I will be doing the Hack Awards in our group. Planning stages at this point, but I would like to mimic the previous Stan Awards from the early 2000s at Atari age. Uh, it won't have a big production like James does, but we can do something. So if you want to go check that out and see what they're doing, it's over in the Facebook group, Atari 2600 Homebrew and Hacks. Um, so we're just going to get into the games, I think. And the first one is Save Gaia, the Mage, And this is, like I said, a world exclusive premiere. We're very lucky. Uh, and it's made by Generation 2, a.k.a. Michael Brown, a.k.a. Evo Mike UK. Lots I didn't know he was evil. Yeah. Are we supporting evil? Uh, a little bit. A, little. a tiny bit of evil. Not too much evil. You know, smatterings of evil. Um, so this was first posted about 
almost a year ago. So you'd need it right here. Yeah, in the middle, center console. Oh, for the cat. Well, right he'd start there. pressing buttons if he was lying on there. No, I don't mean put him on here. I mean have oh. a box that reaches up to here and oh, then you will, he will height. definitely sit there. He'll be like, ah, I'm the best. You got an emote. Thanks to Retro Salary subscription. Thank you very right. much, Retro Salary man, for subscribing at uh, for subscribing to Zero Page Humber. And you gave us like a little, I don't know, a pillow with heart eyes and a mouth. <laughs> is that a pillow? I think it's a ghost. It's a ghost with oh, heart eyes. Oh, it is eyes. a ghost. We'll call it a Pac-Man ghost. A new one. A white. <laughs> An uneaten Pac-Man ghost. Pac ghost. <laughs> That's right. He's not blue, and he's not see-through. And he's not eyeballs. Yeah, oh, I see, yeah, see yeah. I get it. Huh. Okay, <laughs> let's dive into it. There are so many buttons. Which one do I need? It's that one, the close one. This one? Yep. Oh, All right. oh you started it. How did I? This... I guess that starts it. Oh, really? Okay, tell me when to start it. Uh, now. Wow, that's cool. So <laughs> I'm easily amused, apparently. That is an awesome... Yeah, little Pixel guy. Dude. Oh, he's blinking. Generation that is 2. So good. He's looking Presents. around. I don't Maybe know if there's any blinking. sound. I haven't played this. Oh, there's some sound. That was like something going past. Save Gaia! I heard music. Oh, there we go. No, yeah. don't press anything yet. Oh. We're, we're watching the intro. Dude. Okay, okay, we're okay. Not, okay. Hands up! Premiere. Hands it's up. like, just let's skip the first 10 minutes. Nobody's ever seen it before. <laughs> Oh, and well, we can't see it. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, 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 hey. Be good. Oh, I think. I think we're we're in the loop time. That's what I thought before, and then <laughs> oh, I yelled at it. That was a big assumption I'm my, to make. my pride wounded. <laughs> Can I press the button now? Yep. Let's do it. Oh, did I click off it? Try now. Oh. Simage wakes. I have awoken. Let me just turn down. Let me adjust the volumes. Just wait a second. Don't too much. There we go. So we've got like a, a tree and a little dude and just walking around. Let's check out that. Oh, it's the Bonsai Beach. Oh, is she blinking or turning around? Okay. Try the button on her. I tried. Oh. oh, it didn't do anything? Oh. Gax killed. What? Who? Dad. The king. Me Wait, slow down. Meet me at... Uh, sorry, I didn't realize that your one to three <laughs> words per, per reading <laughs> was so slow. <laughs> Meet me at... Wokawa? Woka Woods. Woka Woods. Oh. Can you, can you talk to her again? That's just sunset. Oh, I'm Lady Faye. Oh, we didn't get that last time. Oh, Gax killed. Uh, that's because I was like, because I, I thought I pressed the corner. I was like, ah! Oh. Gax killed Dad, the king. king. Okay, meet me yeah. at Wakawa Woods. Okay, so we have to be here later. And she was talking to. Oh, oh, it's sunset now. Oh, God. We got to get there. Sunset. What's that? a cave? Oh, God. Battle time. Simage turn. At least we get the initiative. Use melee. Five damage on him. And Simage. excitement. <laughs> Hooray! There was much rejoicing. Uh oh, the enemy gets a turn now. I like how it looks. Ah! Two damage. Two damage. Ah, yeah. suck it! Excellent. <laughs> 18 hit points. Any options? Try options. Up, down. Run away! No, no. Shock? Shock. Okay. Let's try that. Oh, no. Oh, they're different colors. He's healing. No. Potion. And run away. There we go. They're gonna use me. No! <laughs> Suck it! Woo! 16! Uh oh. Nice. Oh, oh, victory! Okay. Woo. Oh, got some gold. Level two gold. Eighteen hit points. We got eighteen hit points. SP. 
spell points yeah. level so, one. Yeah. Oh, I think this is just a readout of, of what you have. Have okay. yes, yeah, that makes sense. Okay, that's that. So, oh, battle again. Oh, what is this? Okay. So we get to go first. Try, try those even though they're not colored. No, no, I think potion. Try potion. Because we can run away, right? Try defend. You okay. defend on your turn. <laughs> <laughs> you successfully defended. Enemy turn. This doesn't have a name. I think you just... Attack miss. <laughs> oh, and then it reads out how many pit points you have left, which is good. Okay, so turn. Press the button. Melee! Ciao! Ten, Ten damage! damage. And good. a joyful smile! Whee! Uh, and miss. Uh -huh. uh, um, Suck it, enemy! So a little background here. Eight damage, eight damage so that's bad. 18. Yeah! <laughs> victory! Huzzah! <laughs> Level one. Now you have four? Yep. Or you got four? I bet you, it's you have You have four. four. So it's up two to four. Okay. Uh, there's no, like a last time I touched the thing, I had to battle. Uh oh, okay, it's no. night time. Oh, we He's have bomb. a bomb. No, see, no. it's white. We do uh, not have a bomb. Exit. Okay. So that implies we can get a bomb. No, it doesn't. <laughs> You're making assumptions, sir. <laughs> oh house? I think it's a house. It's either a house or a dude that's stuck in the sand <laughs> and really big head. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Oh, it's a shop. Well, maybe we can get some, uh, some more weapons. Or a bomb. Or a bomb. <laughs> they have it. Please, sir, may I have a bomb? I would like to buy a bomb. Oh, what the? It's a bomb! Oh, that's all he has? Is that just what he has? Is a bomb? It's ten coins, so we, we only have four coins. You can try and buy it, see what happens. No. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> nah, nah. Alright. Wanna buy? Bonsai can. Alright, well. Go to the right first. Yeah. Because we still have to fight some more, too. Oh, it's the end. We don't want to waste money at no, the end. Not yet. Maybe it's not a waste. Maybe there's other things there. Need rest? Mm. Five coins, but that's more coins than I have. <laughs> That's true. Do you see this? No. Oh, save game. Sure. Uh, that sounded like a negative sound. <laughs> it did sound like a negative. It sounded like a... It's... It's me on the save. Okay, so... We need to fight some more. Buy the bomb. Okay, I just have to say I like Love this it. game so far. Yep. Yeah. So, now that we've kind of seen a bunch of stuff, let me read out some back. Um, so originally they sent over a battle demo to me on January 20th, uh, 2020, and I've been watching the development closely as I've been posting screenshots and videos. Oh, what happened? Nothing, I just oh, went so here. It says you wake. Oh, the this, this screen is called Sign Mage Wakes. This bonsai like beach. Where are we supposed to be here? Uh, Wasn't it at the beach? No, it was the Waka or something. Oh, yes. Oh, more um, battling. So I, this is a, a JR. This was defined as a JRPG by the developer, and uh, I was like, "Well, what separates a JRPG from an RPG, a normal RPG?" Um, so I looked it up, uh, and it says the first is you won't get battles on that first screen. Okay. JRPG is a role-playing game that was made in Japan. Uh oh. Literal. Oh, did you get hurt? Oh, did you get hurt? Though? Yeah. Yeah, you're still kicking ass. The School of Thought accepts Five Dark money. Souls and Dragon's Dogma under the JRPG umbrella in spite of their Western influences. Second one is more liberally minded. JRPG is an RPG I that is see. informed by the design of games like Final Fantasy and Dragon's Quest. The School of Thought that accepts uh, Secret of Evermore as a JRPG even though the game was entirely made in, J in America. I'm using so healing. I'm, oh, and now you're up to 20. I don't know what you're down to, to. You will unlock spells with levels. Um, so you don't buy them or discover scrolls. Because sometimes in, in games like this, you you can either like 
discover it, you can buy it, but it's just more like you already know the spell, but you're not powerful six enough to money. cast it. We have no spell points. We have six money. And fifteen hit points. And we just, and I think, just good. wander around here. Oh. Do these guys have names? Did it, it doesn't say their names. Nine. Good job. <clears throat> So, the original announcement for this game on February 16th, it said uh, on Generation 2's Facebook page, damage. Pleased to announce we're working on a new Japanese-inspired RPG for the Atari 2600. Uh, current feature set includes massive world maps spanning a continent, towns with shops and inns, which he's included now already, cutscenes, which he has included uh, when it uh, started, there's a cutscene, <clears throat> and when you're talking to a person, that's kind of a cutscene. Uh, full environmental music. He's got music in here. Save and load mode feature, which we've seen in the save. Don't know if it works yet. Because it went money. Oh, eight monies? No, two, two more money. Two, two more, more money to buy the bomb. Two more local currency to buy bomb. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, seven more if we also want to rest. Yeah. That rest gives you your hit points. And maybe your spell points. Oh, uses must use your spell points to heal. Makes sense. Because you're not going to take a little rest in the middle of fighting. I'm going to turn down the phone a bit. So you can't do anything. No, no, no. Seven hit points. Ack. Got to heal. There we go. Seven, yes, you do. Can you heal here? Press a button when you're not on anything. The first thing you get to do is choose what your action is, and then... Oh. Nope, not enough. Oh, we're doomed. You know it, but you can't do it. Are we doomed? You can run away. No, we can't. <laughs> so otherwise we can't play the game. <laughs> Ooh, two damage, now you're down to five. We're running out of hit points, though. We're running out of hit points. More money if you beat the enemy at the mountain. You don't have a bomb yet. I... Oh, right. Run. Uh, Run. Full color sprites, environmental Run. environments, and enemies. Which, yep, full color sprites. No! Oh, run away! Oh no! Oh yes! Yay! Run! Yeah, but running it. away might cause you to fail to run away and get hit, anyways. That's it's very true. Uh, Dialogue-driven story. Uh, level up, increase your spell and armor Bye. points. Yes. Set us up the bomb. So, go over to that. Is that? Oh, there's more stuff. Hmm. Hit points. Ooh, better weapon. That would be good. Better shield would be even better. Well, we need the bomb, but... Oh, we already bought the bomb, I think. Oh, did we? Yeah, I think that's what happened. Okay. If you press a button just there, what happens? Okay. Um, there are... There's a menu. Uh-huh. Oh. You want to use that? Yes. Oh, we don't have it. Oh, because it's zero. Oh, we do have a bomb. bomb. That's what I was going to look for. So we have five hit points. I think we should go... Well, we don't have any money left, right? No. So we can't go to the end to sleep to get hit points. This is a video game. <laughs> We're going to die. It's okay. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Okay, let's start up here. Run. No, no stay run. Close by. No. We have to make it all the way back. No, I have to go blow up the thing. Oh, yeah, that's true. Gonna run away. Yes. Oh, you're just gonna go blow it up. Okay. Well, that's how we progress. <laughs> Walk mountain. Oh my God! It's whoa, whoa. <laughs> it worked. But it looked like you ran. A... The bomb came after you. <laughs> it did. Oh, that's what exactly what you need. Use it. Use it. No, you oh. can just... 
Hmm. Yeah, it's just you get to look at it. You gotta use your turn in a fight to use it. Can you use it now, though? We just tried <laughs> and it didn't work. Maybe. Yeah. But if there's more controls available, <laughs> then you need to tell me what they are. Yeah. Uh, unique and challenging dungeons, night and day cycles. Um, uh, and January 25th, oh. 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 he posted. You're gonna die. No, use your healing. Healing. Oh. Yay. Close. Um, right. said two months. Two Two whole months of re restructuring an entire game to free up sprite rank enough to make this game possible. Let's hope the investment pays off for the long run in our quest for the most comprehensive 8-bit yeah. JRPG experience possible on hardware older than my 35-year-old self. And then on February 1st, uh, on the we have three Generation spell points. 2, I don't know we can how. do more things. Uh, very happy with the new title screen for Save Gaia. Uh, going to save it maybe for the zero page to unveil. It's very realist, uh, simplistic, which he did say for the unveiling, but nice for such primitive hardware and uses the in-game engine rather than anything fancy like additional kernels. One thing I've noticed of the game of this scale, sometimes less is more. The demo is complete in alpha now that the item menu is complete, and now it's a case of fixing the known bugs and gameplay tweaks before we unleash it after this year's Atari Awards. Are you kicking ass? I don't know what kicking ass. Let's Winning see. is enough for me. What do you have now? In terms of gold. So spell oh, points three. You still have Maybe a bomb. Six. I have six gold. You didn't no, I two. have... Oh, I do have one bomb. Huh. Maybe you get to keep it after. Is that a bug? Could be. Oh, more. Oh, no! <laughs> um, so this is uh, the message from Michael Brown of Generation 2. It says, okay, I hope this works. Um, for your information, the menu is a color black and white switch, which we've looked at. You can only use potions in there at the moment, so you can use potions in that menu. You can? Yes. That's what he says. Okay. It didn't work, We'll though. try it when we need it. Well, we're at 13. We did need it, but we didn't. We'll try when we need it. It didn't work then. when we needed it most. Oh, he says bug. It's a bug. Oh, okay. So we can't use it in the menu yet. It needs to be fixed. Yay, more! All right. Hi, Atari. Atari's back. You can't see him. Camera is like zoomed in artificially for some reason. Need to fix it. Oh, I was gonna uh, say pow, pow. That's all right. This is a new monster. Oh, did I miss this guy? You missed already? it. Okay. You're, you're talking. I'm sure the uh, the manual coming up will talk all about the different monsters. We have well, twelve. Oh, well, I think it's for an fifteen axe. for an axe. Yes. And I think it is 20 for a shield. Yes. What do you want to go for first? I know shields are really good because then you can... But you can kill them faster with the We're all right. But if you don't die, you can kill them as slowly as you want. <laughs> Let's get the axe. We don't have enough for the axe anyways. Oh. On, by the time this will get, get us two. By the time we get there, yeah. Uh, there are three enemy types in this demo. Uh... Uh, should be 15 14, to 30 minutes of game. Five, did that say 5 health? Oh god. <laughs> Time to use the spell. Let's try it again. I'm, what is this? I'm level 3? Oh. And we have 2 shields? Oh. That's good. No axes. 1 bomb. 5 spell oh. points. It is oh, well. flashing. It's look at that. Oh, there. you have to go up on it. Okay. Did it work? Right. Oh, yes, it did. It must have worked. Okay. We'll find out when we go. To Actually, let's go to the stats again. This should say it, right? Right. Whoa. What did you do? Nothing. What did you do? I didn't touch anything. There's a bug. Uh oh. Sorry. <laughs> Press down on the potion. It worked. Oh, we're back. Whoa, what the... <laughs> it played like the intro. No, it's not, because we're at level one and one gold. Oh, no. Okay. Oh, well. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. Okay, still have more to do. We want to buy the axe Here, we'll and get our quest. the shield. That's far away. It's far away in the future. Oh, 
Uh, actually, the folder is behind that. And we need a bomb first. Um, it may have bugs. It may crash. Uh, should be 15 to 30 minutes of gameplay for you. Um, it's a work in progress and pushing things quite hard. Uh, it will go to the game over screen when you have gone as far as you can. Try and find the cliffs in the caves if you can. There's a camp near there. Okay, so we didn't quite get right there. Um, there's a shop and an inn, some small cutscene animations, and a quick NPC chat. And I asked him um, some questions about his background in programming. Um, my first computer was the NES, uh, the VIC-20, and the uh, 086 with the green screen. So, a uh, PC. A PC. Um, I used to program on the x86 when I was 6 or 7, so quite early. Yeah, that is quite early. I had a Lynx when I was around 10, but that was my only ever experience with Atari. Uh, they simply were not popular where I lived in the UK. Now, they're very popular in North America, but not in Europe as much. I only knew one or two other guys with the Atari growing up. I bought a uh, 2600 about three or four years ago out of curiosity and immediately fell in love with it and with its simplicity, and here we are. What got you into programming? Um, I'm not sure. I'm a soft... Oh, why did you choose the Atari 2600 uh, as a platform for programming? I'm not sure. I'm a software developer by trade, and I fancied making some games. It seemed that out of all my retro consoles, the 2600 was the best supported with one of the most active communities. That is very true. Retro Gamer Magazine in the UK certainly used to talk up the console a lot, so I thought I'd try and fill in the obvious void of an RPG, an adventure and RPG titles on the machine after struggling to find many myself. And there seems to be quite a, a surge in RPGs now, with Penalt, and now uh, this game, um, Save Gaia, which is great, because there was definitely a lack of them. In terms of this kind of presentation, there's always been adventure. 20! <laughs> Excellent. And smack. Oh, he missed you. Uh, Ciao! Yeah! <laughs> suck it! <laughs> Seven gold! Are you gonna get the axe first and then the bomb? Or are you gonna get the bomb? Then the axe. You make way more money inside than you do outside. Oh, in the. And there's dungeons? healing potions inside, there's no healing Just potions good. outside. Good tactic. Um, so a little history about the development of this game. Uh, after learning about how to program for the machine whilst making our first title, uh, due April, May, Panic Rooms, I thought I could probably pull off an RPG, but not just your Zelda style games, but a full on turn-based JRPG. I remember reading an article years ago about how Square used to structure their game engines, so I kind of went from there. Deconstructed it and built a new engine on this system as a proof of concept. I released a video about a year ago and the response was amazing, so I decided to pursue it as an idea. And when I was thinking of games to make, this was a style, a fighting style of game that I thought of as well. Mm. Because I've seen it in a number of games going back many, many decades, where your party is on the right hand side, yeah, yeah. and they're on the left hand side, or vice versa. And the 2600 works really well for that because you can have two a display of two characters on a line, right? Player zero and player one. So player zero can be them and player one can be you. Can you turn on the inventory? I want to make sure oh, I got it. Sure. The bomb? Yep. Okay. And yeah, so you could always you could have a line of four or however many you want to fit on the screen and they can go attack and then come back. And the other, the other guy would attack and come back. Exactly like this, but with like a line of people. And you would have more people in the party, and they'd have more um, enemies, too, on the left-hand side. So it's really nice to see that idea actually implemented. Oh, instant. Smack. Um, are there any other games you made before this, or are plans for your next game after this one? He says, yes, Panic Room is done. And I'll be promoting it in a few months for release. The box, the artwork, instructions, playtesting, label, everything done is signed, and signed off. Don't know why the bomb chases you. <laughs> <laughs> but you, get, you get it back. That's the funny thing. That's, Let's that's, see. Because I was pretty sure you, it, you got it back. Yeah. yeah. So it's a reusable bomb. <laughs> At least this time it is. 
Uh, if Gaia does well, I'll expand it into a trilogy. I have another game also planned, but that's a secret at the moment. And uh, we would love to debut Panic Rooms. I've talked with them about Panic Rooms as well. Um, so that'll be another fun game that we'll, we'll play on the show. I think there was a bug in the inventory, so just be careful. So what did we do? We healed in the inventory, right? Yeah. So let's try and keep the healing during the fight, just to be safe. Fourteen on one hit? That's... that's... that's we've been getting those. Wow. Now this is a style. Oh. This is a style of game that I've never played on any system. Have you ever played these these types where it's not exactly where it's like attack, like turn based not, attack? Not exactly like, this, but yeah. but visually different. Like this, like you take your turn, you make your decisions, it swings. Right, you know. turn based rather than which is this? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah I've, I've played those. Like even Ultima is like that, right? It's one person moves or attacks, or does, you know, a melee or a, a distance-based attack. Um, but not this style where it's two people on either side, so it's just a take your turn. Victory. Oh, and how much gold do you have? Seven. Okay. The caves. I love the little, the animations of the guy with the blinking <laughs> and the enemies blinking too. But it looks like he's turning around, like the enemy, because he's got black eyes on a white band, but then it goes gray. So it My looks first like he's thought flipping. on the intro was that he was turning around. Yeah. So that might be better to keep that line white. Um, but he's not actually turning around because his little hairpiece or whatever is flipping to the opposite side. What is everybody's uh, history with this type of game? Have you played these types of games? Or in, like JRPG? I think we're in a caught in a uh, miss loop. We missed we each missed each other like several times in a row. Just missing all over the place. Level two. Ooh, nine gold. Oh no! I'm gonna stay going this way. Stay near the entrance. I want to at least know where the entrance is. So no new potions or spells. So we'll see how much it ramps up in terms of um, damage when you get the. Oh! <laughs> it's a little squid creature! With big eyes! I love the celebration when he does, when he uh, is successful. <laughs> it is good. Yeah, I, like it. I didn't kill him, but I got him good! <laughs> Inventory. Okay. Spell. Yeah. Yeah. Hit points, points eight. eight. Okay. Yeah. yeah. And how much gold? 14. One more. Oh. One more for what? To buy the axe. Why do you think we're getting an axe? You buy an axe on your turn. <laughs> because that's the next logical step. You said you were going to buy an axe last game. I never said I was buying an axe. I have always leaned towards the shield 100% oh. of the time. Oh, cool. I don't know that I'm right. But I, I, do, I do question your faulty memory. <laughs> Uh, it's good to question my faulty memory. Because I do have one. <laughs> Victory! 16! Ooh. Don't forget about your hit points. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot about them. It's like, ah, I just keep fighting. Um, Generation 2 games are... Any of the creatures diff more difficult or less difficult? Have you noticed that 
one hits more or for more? This one hit for six, and none of the others hit anywhere near that much. Oh, okay. So this is the most. Oh, shock. Oh, nice. Oh, my God. Eight. What? Not very much. He <laughs> did turn yellow, which is kind of funny. <laughs> I don't know if that's worth it. it. Maybe, well, maybe eight was a really low. So <laughs> yes, they scale up. Oh, scale up with, um, with your level. Not my cup of tea, but Generation Two Games did an amazing job on this and Panic Rooms. I was beta tested for <clears throat> Panic Rooms way back. It's been like three years. Oh wow, that's been a well. Will you shock again? Does that use up your? Um, I don't know. We'll see. Nice. That's. Not bad, 13. It does use a spell point. Okay. One spell point. Yes. Just like healing uses a spell point. Or did. Mm, okay. Maybe it uses more. Maybe it uses more. 19. Uh-oh. 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 Another crash. Sorry. <laughs> uh play it one more time and it's my Here. turn yeah then you can go buy yourself an axe good luck <laughs> i will good luck we haven't bought anything yet because you've been wasting time i would never have i would not have made it back <laughs> <laughs> let's get those get that gold wait don't talk to her okay <laughs> i'm just kidding we know don't. what she says yeah but maybe you have to talk to her well it's so. not eight way it's no, four, it's not. Four-way. Yep. Oh, okay. These are the two areas where there's battles. Yeah, battle over near the the shop. That's the safest. No. Nice. Yeah, because you want to get you want your fights to happen in the cave because there's more money in there oh. and there doesn't seem to be substantially more danger. Right. You get two to three times as much money with only a statistical amount of increased danger. So you think it's faster you want to fight over by the shop because then you can get there without having more fights once you get the money for the bomb you want to get it and go it's good that you can do that so move over towards it you think you, they can still fight me around i don't know about oh, that can. Can, okay. yeah. that was my discovery with the do speed <laughs> yeah, you can. When, nice. There's no decisions to be made here. No, because it's. If I you... got in trouble for pressing the buttons too quick before, so I was reluctant to, to go too speedy. Well, once, once we've seen. Actually, I should see how much hit points I have. Ooh, ten. Hmm. Ten of them. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the reason you couldn't use shock before was that you didn't have any spell points. Okay. The trick is that if you use shock, you use up spell points, and I believe you can heal with spell points. Now can I... Yeah, I do have a healing. Okay, yeah. good. But I... it's gone, because you used your spell point. Right. Yeah. Yay! Six. Uh, what do I need for the bomb? Ten. Ten, okay. Kill. Seven, almost there. Now I've got 14 hit points left. So inside this, it kind of almost teleports you to another land because there's two sections, mm -hmm. which is really cool. Usually when you go into some place, it's just that place and not two rooms. Sunset. I'm guessing eventually sunset will change things. Like she said, you have to meet at a certain place at a certain time. Which was also the case for Ultima. Like, there was moon gates that yep. wouldn't activate. So do I have enough now? Nope. Moon glade. You can only see it at zero, zero, or whatever it was. Yeah. <coughs> Two. Miss. Two. No. Six. Okay. Fair enough. No. Die. How many hit points do you have? Uh, uh, we'll find out. Find out. Okay. Almost. You need 10 to kill this guy. Ooh, I think I'm running out really badly. Yeah, well, you better hit him. There's no point in running. There's no healing left. 
Oh, don't run away. You, 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 yeah. There we go. You just you splatter. Looks him. like he's celebrating. The bad guy. Yeah. I'm, I am. Maybe he's going. Uh, yeah, yeah, he dead. Ten. Run dead. in there, quick! Go, 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 go! Safe inside the shop. They've got a good uh, bouncer outside. Uh, sunset means harder enemy, more gold. Oh, so good and good. And now I leave quickly. Oh, also. Oh, is that purchasing a spell point or you have a spell point? Maybe you get a spell point by. Uh, I don't know. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Just. Yeah. Exit. Up for exit. Okay. But I. You have the shield. Now. Why are you going to die? Because I have only six hit points and no. Yeah, but you have. Do you have a spell point? Check. I don't think so. No. Okay. No. Well, you just go to the thing. Stop. <laughs> Stop worrying. Just run and hit it from the side when you get. Keep going and hit it from the side because that'll get you in there. Nine. One less than you needed. Wow, Four. that guy's hitting hard. Yay! Splat. Level up. Maybe I get some. No. <laughs> no extra points. Yeah. Spell points, though. Yes. Which means you can heal. We'll like, do hit it. it from the side, I said. Oh, right. Go up there. Quick, quick. Press the button. Use the bomb. Run from Run the bomb. From the bomb. <laughs> <laughs> now go back in. And where's... And that way. And then up. Just, oh, it's just, just right there. there. Just oh. first thing you do, go to heal. And luckily, it's always our, always your, your turn first. Yeah. Right? You win initiative. 22. <laughs> nice. So there's yeah. a higher maximum. Yeah, because you leveled up. Yes. Two. Ha <laughs> 12. This one takes 15. Two kill? Okay. Yeah. I think 15. 15. Yeah, but not all at once. That was overkill. <laughs> <laughs> it smushed all the pieces all over the ground. Now I'll get it. No. There we go. Lots of good uses for very low res playfield blocks. Yeah, like there's like buildings in the background there and green. And it's nice the lines really give it definition. And you got the sky, the blue sky. Nine damage. Three. <laughs> Twelve. Victory! And that's great to have that huge victory, yeah. which, which makes sense. How much? 17 hit points. I'm still good. So we'll go get the other healing, which is up and to the left. Up and to the left. And then up. Okay. It'll be obvious when you go. Yes. Yes. Yay. Yay! One hit! <laughs> Eight gold. Need some more. This is good, because you need it. Yeah, you don't actually need that potion. No. Okay. So I can gather it on the way in and the way back out. And then stay just inside the caves, I guess. Because... No, you keep exploring. No. I want my axe. But yeah, but you want your axe and don't have money, you might as well explore and find stuff. And I'll go up a bit. Yeah! Ooh, it's pretty big. Oh my god, I'm gonna get lost. <laughs> Yay! See, aren't you happy now? Somewhat. <laughs> <laughs> it's worth it because then I can make it back. Axe is to chop trees later on, shield is shield. Oh, okay. Thank you. <laughs> so I don't actually increase my hits, uh, the damage, if I get the axe. That is very, very helpful. <laughs> because so Darcy was right. Let's go back down left. Where I have points? Oh, I'm 14. pretty good still. You go left. Left? No, but I haven't, that's where I came yeah, from. Yeah. Yeah. Ah! Didn't even see what was on the screen. Did you even leave the screen? I did. I think I did. Just I often get caught screen. just before leaving. And... Come on. There we go. Level up! Woohoo! I need to Weapons heal still myself. Work in progress. Oh, okay. 
Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Dead end. Okay, I think I'm going to make my way out. Yeah, because you're close to... Close to shield levels. You still want to stay in here till you have shield levels. Oh, okay. Gray is the bottom. Oh, the Seems entrance yeah. kind of areas. Ooh. Oh, Another bomb. And it's like kind of an alcove here. Cool. But we get to reuse the bomb, so. Okay, Maybe now you I'm need two heal. bombs to blow up the bigger rock. That's true. Did you use a potion or did you use spell points, spell points? Spell points. Yeah, good. And actually, I still have four, so. Although. Quite a bit. Although, uh. When you, you have three potions, so it might be better to use the potion at this point. And then you just go for zapping. Yeah, zapping doesn't seem to do as much damage. It probably does more. We did it twice. <laughs> and both of them were above low level. Like one was 8 and the other was 13. Mm. Whereas 8 and 13 are... Hooray! Fatal error! You made a fatal error! <laughs> Your fatal error was hoping to buy something from the store! It was. It was a fatal error. It, it, it's fun, though. I like it. Yeah, it's really, really good. Yep. And I want to play more and do more things. What is that? That? Yeah. Well, is that's, this a, is that's it, the screen that we it, were on. Right, so this is part of what? What are we seeing? Um, is it just miniaturized it and stossed it in the corner and showed yes. us this? Okay. And that's a zoom in of it, the top, uh, top left corner. We can't do anything. Cause, yeah. um, and this should continue. tell him exactly where it crashed. If I can move this down a bit, or not, or not, or not, it just disappeared. Luckily, you have video of it. Yeah, I was trying to show him like what line it crashed on. Yeah, I saw it. So hopefully you can see that, and yeah. it's helpful in some way. Very, very cool. I like it a lot. Yeah, I think yeah, it was I really fun. I think we played it. To an extent that it's it's probably going to crash at a certain point anyway. Mm -hmm. Maybe it's like because I leveled up, or I think it crashes because we're so good. It's we're like no, you're it yeah, you're right running to the away limit. With it. Yeah, yeah, really good, <laughs> really, really, really fun. Oh, yes, we're looking forward to playing it again uh, in uh, a later version of it. Actually, I'll keep this up here now that the cat's moved. Um, so the results of the poll. Uh, the number one is they voted and watched live. So that's great. That's a good result. 55%. 55.6. Uh, 22 voted and watched it later. So that makes up 77%. Um, and then 11 didn't vote but watched it live. Um, and 0% didn't vote and watched it later. Uh, and 11%. But of course there's a bias because people who are watching this yeah. show oh, live are likely honest. to have watched the other one live. Yeah, this is not a man <laughs> on the street interview. Yeah. <laughs> They're like, Atari 2600? What's that? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, within the people that watch this show live. <laughs> yeah, it's crash crashing. Oh yeah, the chat. We can yeah. put that back up there. It's a new engine, two weeks old, which is amazing for two weeks. How much you've progressed and yeah yeah, yeah we lots of fun things going on there it's got the basics of everything you need it's got the fighting it's got purchasing it's got lots of areas to explore spells weapons three enemies um lands within lands which is probably more like a teleport if you touch it, it takes you to another area it's got interactions it's got talking with npcs it's got Tons and tons of stuff. Um, so we're going to move on to the next game. Which is a game we've played before. I don't know if you played it. Um, Street? Street Racer? Street Rod. Street Rod. 2600. By Anthony Quinlan, a.k.a. 2600. Um, where you I, upgrade I, your car and you race. and it, There wasn't a much going on. It was like drag racing. Drag racing. Yeah, yeah, and we were confused as to what... The, the engine parts were mostly there just for visual and stuff like that. Yeah, yeah. and the racing was impossible to beat the That's guy. That's right, yeah. And you <laughs> so were very upset about that. You I was. were very upset. You're like, I want to be able to win! Why am I not winning? <laughs> <laughs> so thank you so much, Generation 2 Games, for uh, letting us debut your 
game, amazing JRPG on the show, and very looking forward to playing it some more. Uh, this build is brand new today uh, that we'll be playing of... Oh, it's an Atari butt. Rod. Everybody was able to see that little Atari oh. butt sticking out. At least, oh, good. good. <laughs> a little bonus, a little cheekiness going on there. Uh, Street Rod 2600. Brand new. He sent this to me just before the show. He lives in Australia, so he's even... We're getting it even before <laughs> we're getting, today. We're getting... the. February 8th We're build. getting it from the future. That's right. So all the people that make uh, games in Australia, they're always like, they have the date of tomorrow. It's, it's very confusing for me. <laughs> oh, 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 no, don't start yet. Okay, so let's get this up on the screen. Boom, very nice. And if you look carefully, it's the outline of the car. It's in... Um, it's in shadow oh, along with the trees see. and you get a sunset so you're kind of looking into the sunset where this light is coming from the other side uh this is first posted about november 25th uh it's a 32k game oh and the last one was a 64k game for people who care about such things other games bass Fis fishing tournament which was um nominated in the uh Atari Homebrew Awards. And he's made Street Rod 2600, so this is his second game. Um, you can download not this version, but one back, and he'll be releasing this version. Because we'll only be we have a portal to the future. That's right. Only we can see into Australian time on oh, February 8th. Uh, and we played it last on uh, November 29th, 2019. So let's get into it. Or not. Try again. There we go. So there's our car. And we can phone a friend, we can yeah, read a newspaper, a or we can get a grenade. So this is who we're... Oh, we're racing. Okay. So we're in neutral right now. You're going to have to figure this out before I read the instructions. Do the blue car. Second gear. First gear. Second. You go third. Uh, instructions. It's a grudge night and you're a small town folk with a passion for cars. It's grudge night. Oh, giving it over to me. <laughs> you're done. Here, you can read it out then. It's grudge night and you're a small town folk. Oh, small town folk with a passion for cars. He lapped me. <laughs> you spend most nights out in the garage tinkering with your pride and joy. Build your way through the ranks, drag racing on the street with your latest upgrade ride. Win races against fierce competitors to make your cash or lose to some or lose to some of the best on the streets. Spend wisely to upgrade because when you're out of cash, you're done for the summer. Upgrade your ride accordingly to compete against those you think have a chance of uh, you have a chance of beating. What you need is a side game where when you run out of money you have to go work at like a fast food restaurant <laughs> That's or something. Right. You know, you're enough money burgers, get fix fries. your car. That's and it's right. like burger time or something. That's right. A game within a game. <laughs> That'd be funny, actually. So browse the paper for upgrades and start tinking to work up your ride. Then hit the telephone to call and race competitors that are always up for a race. Be careful not to jump on the gun. Not to jump. Not to jump on the gun. Not to jump, jump the gun <laughs> or you will get disqualified and lose cash for poor sportsmanship. Make sure to get those optimal gear shifts and use the rev, use the rev range that provides the full horsepower power power band. These are the fundamental components in the realm of drag racing and to become the king. Still a work in progress. Racing controls. Joystick equals accelerator. Okay. Up, shift to gear. Joy up is a shift to gear. Directions, directionals left, right. Right. Got that. Okay. So, sorry. The joy, the racing controls are, I, I correct myself, the joystick fire button is the accelerator. Yes. Up is shift. Yes. And side to side is side to side. Yeah. Can't shift down a gear. You just kind of slow down until you get to a lower gear. Uh, January 15, 2020 update. Okay, small update and it's way overdue. Nothing too major, however, it makes nothing too major. However, it makes the race beatable by adding some backbone to the performance upgrades. This part of the physics I feel is solid enough to build on, so I did. While other parts such as the opponent difficulty need improvements. For now, the AI difficulty is still no different depending on the opponent raced 
Small improvements is better than none, I guess. If you beat the opponent, you net 200. Otherwise, you lose 100. Okay. Uh, performance upgrades. January 19th update. Another small update. Still broken in a lot of areas and, and unlimited cash. However, the game is somewhat more playable. Think of it as cheats enabled. Starting bankroll, 400. Fishing line guy added... Sorry, finishing line guy. <laughs> fishing line guy. Fishing line. Case, yeah, was... you run out of money, you need to go fish to catch some fish and sell them at the market so that you can continue fixing your car. See, they're already on to us. <laughs> um, <laughs> minor sprite and color, pre-start up, location changes, etc. Oh, come on. Minor changes to game balance. When race finishes, there's a two-second pause after race. Bug fix. After races, you now return to garage rather than parts menu. Right. Still no idea why this, why it did this. However, added prevention code. Some code cleanup, probably something else I'm forgetting. <laughs> <laughs> January 21. New update. We now have a title screen to set the mood and add some body to the game. Though this was really needed, thought this was really needed to make it feel a lot more like a game rather than an experimental project. There is some, there is some small bugs, so it's not perfect, but we'll do for now until I iron them out. Special thanks to at Revenge for pointing me in the right direction with an issue I had. January 22, another update that's bringing you closer to the actual game. Bankroll improvements. No more ride free. No more free ride. No more free ride. Game over impl implemented. If you're out of cash and lose a race, you're out for the summer. Yep. Game balancing improvements. Not sure if still too hard. Some other background code cleanup. Message from Anthony yesterday. Hi, James. Okay, that's... Yep, you can read oh, okay. that. Yep. Hi, James. Just a small update I've been meaning to upload. Thought I'd throw it your way before uploading to the main thread. If I work on the project later tonight, I will be sure to give you any later builds, but for now, this is the latest. Excellent. I can't I can't win still. <laughs> Doing something wrong. <laughs> Uh, so, score font fixed, tree graphics updated, gameplay balancing code, small changes like redundant code removal, and some tweaks. Uh, back again with uh, Hi James, back with another update. Found some time to, th to throw work into this project, and I have made some decent progress. I'm anxious to hear the feedback from the show later today. I've integrated where performance upgrades versus opponent difficulty merges. That means all the opponents now have different difficulty levels, right. depending on the upgrade. Depending on the upgrade makes the difference whether the opponent is beatable. Mm. There is still a lot of fine tuning with balancing when it comes to performance versus opponents versus reward, so that will take a while to iron out. Once again, I will hold off po posting on the main thread until after the show so you have a sort of an exclusive release. Do, 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 do. Uh, change log, opponent difficulty, tire screech at the line, game yeah. balancing. Okay. Okay, so I've been playing the game while you've been reading. Mm -hmm. And there's the main screen. Which guy have you been racing? Have all racing three. All, and all three, and they seem to be all the same. Uh, um, you can't go into that to change the color of your car, maybe okay. because we don't have enough money. Um, I can't seem to buy any car parts, probably because we can't have any. Don't have enough money. Those don't do anything. I can race, uh -huh. and I've raced all three. Not all. I finish almost exactly the same each time. So, I can rev it up to red line. Wait for the guy. And I change right at red line, which I'm guessing is the best thing to do. And that's pretty much... That's actually so the won. closest I've ever done. Oh, you're not red? No. Oh. <laughs> I am blue. Why was his revved up but your his bar... Oh, he doesn't have a bar. No, he doesn't have a bar. That's weird, because it's under his car. So that was confusing me when yeah, I was I'm guessing speed is on the right hand side and your RPMs is on the left hand side. That's as that's as close as I can come. Uh the left hand side is your RPM and the right hand side is your gear. Gear or speed? Well as you hit it, it goes up. See? Uh -oh. oh okay, that is the gear. Yeah. Uh I think you're the assuming the middle too. I think you're assuming that Yeah, it doesn't that you are gearing that you should gear up as soon as it turns red and maybe that's not true try uh, not doing apparently that. not because he says it's beatable and i that's what i've been doing so maybe 
all the way up then. Like I'll wait till it goes right to the top. Let's try that tactic now. Almost no change. <laughs> Uh, let's try it before it gets to red. No, you're further away. Way back. That's not it. Yeah, um, so, like, your switching right away was better. And you have to be pressing the button to change gears. I heard the tire screech. Like, that's as close mm -hmm. as I can get. I don't know what else I can do. Like, you can steer, but the car stays straight and the track is straight. So there's no reason unless Run I... Run him off the road! That's what I'm going to try and actually do right now. Actually, it just crashed out. That's funny if you, oh, because you lose. If you uh, start, if you change into gear. Oh, that's quick. Of course, I'm behind him. Can you catch up to him? Run him off the road. I'll kill that guy <laughs> instead. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is the, the issue we had last time, too. We just could not beat. And we don't have enough money to look at anything. Get him. Get him. No, it's no collision with the other guy. Um, he just finished this one, so let's go back a day. Just in case mm -hmm. some bugs were introduced that he hasn't worked out yet. No, can't get that. No. Oh! See, I wasn't able to get that before. But did he say that this makes those make any difference yet? Yeah, I believe they make a difference Oh, now. I spent all my money. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, so maybe I can win, even though I have no money. Come on! No! You're definitely closer. Much closer. Try buying a different item next time. Sure. Try the second one. Third one. Nope, only the first one. Cost four hundred dollars. Let's try this guy. Come on, come on, come on. Yeah, you got him. Yay! Yeah, you want two hundred <laughs> bucks. <laughs> I can't buy anything yet. Because those are obviously, it probably goes from cheapest to most expensive. I'm guessing. Um, and I raced the red guy. We'll just race the blue guy again. You get 200 bucks every time you beat his ass. Was it the blue guy I just raced? Yeah. Okay. Getting very close, though. Oh. I mean, as it should be. Oh, come on, come on, come on, come on, yeah. come on. You got him. Oh no! You you no, lost. I lost a hundred. You must have lost by uh, cheating, because because <laughs> I said you won, so you must have actually won. <laughs> I think I got him this time. Yep. By quite a bit. Yay! We're playing. <laughs> <laughs> Guessing the blue guy is the easiest then. Yeah. So can Keep we buy killing him. For Keep five? killing him. No, no, no. Might be able to get this. No. 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 Okay.
He's quite a foolish to keep racing me. <laughs> I'll get him. I'll, I'll get him this time. I just know it. Well, it's a tight race. It, it is. So maybe he's not foolish. Maybe he knows that you're the only one he has a chance of beating. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> <laughs> Thousand? No. Well, let's see if you can buy something. Yay! Okay. That was 800. So 400, 800. I'm going to see if I beat this guy by more now. And then I will race the next guy. I'll race the next guy until you win a few, otherwise you can end the game. Oh, that's true. A little, little bit more, mm -hmm. maybe. I'll do one more race with this guy. Yeah, I think you lose a hundred, so you're safe. Whichever you do. That's a little bit slow up the line. Hi, hi. How are you doing? Luckily, I only need one finger for this. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I can. I beat being him by a little bit more. Yeah, I know it's almost food time. Almost, but oh, not yet. No! Try the Seven next guy. Up. Oh, I think I'll get this guy. Yeah, yeah, by pretty good margin. And I'm guessing the next um, item up would be another doubling at sixteen hundred. Probably. Hi, beast. Yeah, I can. Pretty hard to leave beat that guy. So let's try the hardest guy now. I suppose. Damn it. Who knows if that's the right time to shift or not? Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Yeah, just barely. So I don't know what happened between that last version and this version, but this seems better for the race. Well, what happened is you weren't able to buy the overhead thing. To start. Because yeah. you started with 250 instead of 400. Yes. Oh. And it cost 400. Yep. And you needed to cheat in order to win. <laughs> you did something on my car. Something. Because they have the same thing. Or they don't have the same thing. Hi. Well, no, they have a, a better off the line than you. They do. Always they would be off the line. Oh, no, I can handily beat all three. There doesn't seem to be much difference between them. What are you doing, beast? Are you the best beast? 100% best. 100% best beast. No beast is better than this beast. This beast is the best beast. <laughs> Yeah. A couple more races, and we'll be able to buy the top thing and see how much we beat them. And there was, uh, while I was playing, while you were uh, <laughs> reading out the instructions, uh -huh. I went so slowly, the guy got ahead of me far enough that it looped around, <laughs> like the numbers looped around in the programming. <laughs> And then nobody could win. It just went forever. Oh, that's funny. <laughs> Do it again. Show me. I will. After I play this successfully. We'll oh, take a I look. See. We'll this take will a be look. enough if you win. It should be, yeah. And then we'll see how much I beat him by after I get the good stuff. It's... Oh, what? It went right into this. It's like, hey, you have enough. <laughs> Interesting. Yay. Oh, and it was, uh, it was not 1600 It was only 1200 yeah. Yeah. Do I have enough for this? No. Might not work. Yeah, if it's paint, then I wouldn't think it worked. He didn't mention anything about paint, so. Oh, okay. So let's try with my new fangled car. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Quite a bit more. Not quite a bit, but enough. 
paint. Uh, okay. Now, now lose. Okay. Let's lose against the fastest guy. Just go for a little Sunday drive here. I'm going too fast. Um, the colors are showing up on the line in the center every once in a while. Oh, yeah, based on uh, his colors. So they must be. Um... Oh, see, so he looped around. Yeah. Just in time, actually, because there was the guy. Now I'll go fast. There's no collision yet. And once you're past the guy at the end of the line, it doesn't check again. <laughs> Unless that guy loops around eventually, too. But I didn't encounter that. And it just plays forever. And ever. And you can't crash to the side. <laughs> it just kind of neatly fits into the side. Your, your tire goes right up against the grass. But your hood covers up some of it. You're, you're not hood, but the True. side of your car. Okay, we don't need the cat up there. There you go. Yeah, sometimes it uh, takes on the color of me, so it's like in my tires. Uh, it takes on the color of whoever's whatever's beside it. So like when the there trees. were two cars, it would be blue where you are and red where he was, and yeah. the, the tree, if the tree is nearby. Yeah. yeah. So they, they're drawn with uh, missiles then. And alternating missiles too, mm -hmm. or maybe not. Hard to say. So let's check out the new game and uh, newest version of it to see what has really changed. Like you don't have enough money to buy the the lowest one because that takes four hundred. And paint's not working. So let's just. I'm gonna give it my best shot now that I know the optimum. Psst. What's that cat doing? Distracting me is what he's doing. I'm playing Game of Thrones. <laughs> oh, nowhere good. near. Let's try it again. Oh, nope. <laughs> Lost all my money. Try one more time with this guy. Uh, you shouldn't have lost either. Because you have 250 in it. You're only supposed to lose 100. For oh, losing. yeah. Not even going to come close. So that's that's the issue. I think if he changed the money amount, which didn't give you enough. Hmm. And and also when you buy those new things, it should get incrementally harder, like the enemies, or it does. They you hardly are beating them by more. <laughs> yeah. But, but also it hardest, shouldn't get harder. The it's hardest the guy should get should be harder than the easiest guy because they all seem about the same. Yeah, I think we saw that the easiest guy was easier than the other ones. I'm going to try and race. Yeah, I'm going to try and race the hardest guy with just the, the simple, the first upgrade. Because I shouldn't be able to beat him. Because there's, then there's no point in spending any more money. my car if I can beat the hardest guy. Um, I don't think they are different in that one. In the one? It oh. may have been in the last one that he added that difficulty. Right, in. right, right. Very cool. I've seen Street Rod in the C64. This is coming along very good. Oh, very cool. I think we might have looked at the C64. Oh, we did look at the C64 version last time. Yes, it is progressing. Um, looking forward to some more game balancing and I think there is like other things you have to do like you have to go to like there's a screen I remember on the C64 version where you go to like the the drive-in or the restaurant to go pick the racer mm. I don't know if you like yeah, that yeah. in or not here you go I'm going to move on to the last game today where's my tablet which is 
Tennis. Pro Tennis by Edward Smith, a.k.a. E.A. Smith, 2020 work in progress. But first, before we get to that, we're going to take a look at other tennis games on the Atari 2600. Uh, they, I was digging around today and found two homebrew games, uh, tennis homebrew games, and two original first run uh, tennis games. So we'll look, take a look at the homebrew first. The first one is called uh, Tennis 2600. Uh, made in 2011 by Dev Web CL. Uh, tennis 2600. And, oh, let's change the graphic over. I mean, this is not the graphic for Tennis 2600. So here you go. It's an unfinished game. You can only just move around. There's no sound. There's no serving. Actually... Do you press the, when you press the button, does it do anything or? Oh yeah. Hold it down. Hold down the button. So he kind of hits it. So you had Well, a, when you hold the button, it moves it. And that's, right. you, you have to know when to let go. Because it right. goes up and down as you hold it. And you have to let go at the right spot. Or at least time it so that it's in the right spot at the right time. Right. And you go like this, and you're like, pow, 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 oh, pow, it's pow, it's pow, pow, pow. This is a two-player game, so. I'm tennis fighting. miming right. tennis better oh, than you are. Oh, Look at me screen. miming tennis so much better than you. Can you go off the screen? No. I'm leaving. That's right. I was so good, I chased him from the field. wonder if I can loop around. Nope. Oh, it stops. Just barely up. There we go. Let's see if we can go off the screen. It's, I think it's a dancing game. Look. That's right. Okay, I have to imitate what you're doing. <laughs> so it's got the cord, it's got the net, it's got the guys, but no game. It's not much. Not much going on there. Uh, the next one is called Atari 3D Tennis. This was in 2017 by Trip. 2018. Confusing, I know. Uh... 3D Tennis? Atari 3D Tennis. There we go. So that's like Made a with ball and Atari a racket. Basis. Yeah. And there you go. You're the green dude. And there's a net there. Oh, there goes the ball. You're playing a stick opponent. Oh, he got it back. Oh, there you go. And it's kind of got a, a parallax net, which is really cool, and a parallax uh, field. I'm getting the hang of it. And when you hit the ball, the net kind of flashes a bit. <laughs> oh, he moved a bit. Kind of stuck on the side, eh? Oh, there you go. All Yay! right! Your point! Is him? Is he 30? You're 15? That's your first point? Yeah. Yeah. Pretty cool. Um, this must be like racquetball or something. Because <laughs> Almost. It bounced off the wall. Your wall? And look at how much it bounces. Oh, yeah. It's like... Lots of bounces happening. <laughs> Lots of bouncing. Tennis is basically Pong in some sort of 3D. It, really, it is an extension of Pong. And, and some of the Pong... All right! I got points! 30-30. <laughs> some of the Pong variations were called tennis. Um, I don't know how it differentiated between the two. All right, I'm winning. Okay, okay we're done. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, this isn't the game. No, it's not. The right, game. so let's no. move on while yeah. I'm winning. Um, pretty cool implementation. Like yeah, the yeah. 3D-ness of it. Yep. Not too many uh, Atari games that are 3D. And then we go to the uh, original run. Uh, first is Tennis by Activision. This is 1981, I believe. And I actually did a... Uh, patch challenge on this and it's damn hard all you have to do is win 
to get the patch. You don't have to win by X, you just have to win. And I had to set it to the easy mode to win. Because I, I could I could beat him some some uh, volleys, but I couldn't beat him overall because he's really good. Yeah, 1981. Pretty much to get him, you have to get it on the edge of your racket, hitting it the opposite side that he's on. And that's how you get it. So I always like this uh, tennis game. Very, very... No, I don't want to <laughs> um, I always like this tennis game. It's got the um, shadow for the ball. It's got a very simple net. It's just a solid, solid color. Oh, that cat's going to start chewing things because he's hungry. Come on. Down you get. You guys are going to get kicked out soon. You don't behave. Oh, I would have won, but you... Um... Got in the way? Yeah. Oh! 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 No, you're pink. What? You're pink. Did we switch? Yeah, because uh, it was a match oh. or a set. I was not up on my tennis terminology. How was I volleying back and forth thinking I was the wrong person? Maybe he accidentally hit it directly to you the first time and... Oh, that was almost a good one. That was almost a good one, he said. <laughs> it's a good one. Almost a good one. <laughs> Pow. Zoomy. Wow. Oh. Okay, so end the pain. End the pain. <laughs> and then the next one is real sports. Real sports. And there was a line of real sports. Real sports tennis. This is quite an upgrade. Made two years later, so quite an advancement. See, the net is uh, more detailed. Am I playing? I'm not playing. I don't think you're playing. No. So, and also you can put in your name for whatever that matters. His name is Ah. Uh, it's got some music. This one has a shadow on the ball too. Find the the movement a bit more sluggish. I think you can press the button to move a little bit faster for like a. Oh, you got him. But no, I'm blue. Oh, okay. <laughs> Still, oh, uh, you got him! You got him! This one might be a bit more winnable. Oh. Oh. I wasn't trying. It was just true, actually. <laughs> you weren't trying. I, was, I was, wasn't trying to win. I was trying to do stuff. And then you go different. off and switch sides. Very cool. And now we get to... Because I wanted to give a little bit of history of tennis. So there is... Three complete ones, uh, one in the works. Homebrew. And this is one versus one pro tennis. And he sent me a brand new one, which is also posted in the Atari Age forums. Uh, one versus one pro tennis. Very nice mm -hmm. tennis ball. Um, so there's multiple variations. Uh, one player on the clay court, one player on the grass court, two player on the clay court and two player on the grass court so we'll play what do you want grass or clay well clay. We'll, we'll go for the first one okay and this one uh needs a lot of instructions because it's got a lot of advanced um which one are you i guess i'm blue are you blue it's confusing when you have to press the button for the computer to serve. <laughs> but it That's makes what sense. Confused. Yeah. I know, but it's what confused me both times. Yeah. It, it does make sense so you're not like caught off guard. Unless they make you serve first, which would be fine. Oh, it's got... Um, the ball got bigger as it got closer to you. Oh, I got uh, points. Nice. Two points. Oh! That's I should look into serve. the history of the, the score on tennis because it's completely bizarre. It's like 15, 30, then 40. Um, after much, so originally when he posted, he says, after much trial and error, I have somewhat decent graphics kernel for the game. Not sure if there's a need for another Atari 2600 tennis game, but why not? I would like to have better animations uh, than existing games for player movements, shots and serves. Yeah, the graphics are really good. You've got the shorts and the uh, and socks. you can be um, you can be in and out. So like you can have hit it too far. I don't know mm. how that works because it's not like you 
control really where it goes all that Oh, way. you do. I mean, you do, I guess. Yeah, we'll go over that, how to actually play. Um, but I also have pl planning a more shot control program to the game. That is the ability to place your shots, with some error, of course, with joystick direction. And also have different speeds for lobs. Uh, which one are you again? Sorry? Blue. Blue. Okay. Uh, the main challenge so far is that I've been needing to use a 30 hertz flicker to achieve the graphics elements I want. It turns out that green and white is a bad combination for flicker, so I have to experiment with colors to get a screen that is not seizure-inducing on a CRT. I think this is decent. Uh, ideally, the side lines would be white, um, but the flicker is just too annoying with a uh, zero green background. Also, this would make the brackets white, which looks weird. I don't know why brackets are fine. Uh, screenshots, screen capture look crappy, so unfortunately if anyone uh, wants to look, you'll have to download no gameplay yet, so that was before. So this is a message from Edward. Here's the latest build. Also, please check to make sure the game has a stable display, which it's fine because we're using Stella. Um, by the way, I've still never tested the two-player option, so I'll be the first to do that uh, against anyone, so it'll be very valuable to see. Oh, and also to hit the ball to desired location, I found it best to think of moving through the shot in the direction you want to hit. Also, a fast shot in the back corner near the opponent's baseline is a very effective strategy. Uh, button plus diagonal joystick. Uh, in this update, I have added a variety to serves. For now, it's random, but I will eventually add the ability to select the placement with the stick. Uh, we'll need to impose some risk in choosing the serve that is in corner or down center line. This will require adding some percentage to those serves that land out and judging faults, then going to second serve or double fault. Uh, and I asked him if he has any other upcoming games, and he said, nothing on the horizon now. But for now, I hope my basketball, golf, bowling, baseball, no. and tennis games are nice additions to the 2600 library. Yep, out you go. Here's the instructions. You're doing pretty good against the computer. Oh, as I say that. One or two players, a difficulty switch is not used. Reset goes to the title screen. Holding down select will cycle through the game options. Um, clay, grass. Um, player zero controls the blue player in all games, which are you. On the grass court, the ball occasionally takes an erratic bounce. That's interesting. So the, the court style actually affects the ball. That's pretty cool. Yeah. Uh, press the button to serve the ball. To hit the ball, you just need to move the player to contact the ball. So you don't actually need to press the button. It did say that there was uh, some reason to press the button. It was yes. like trick shot or whatever. Um, if the button is pressed at the moment or immediately after contact, you will hit a fast shot. You can only hit a fast shot off a of bounce, not while the ball is in the air, unless it's a lob shot. If the button is not pressed at the moment of contact, you will hit a slow shot. If you press it immediately after contact, within four frames or so, it does not have to be before, um, as this will cause the player to change directions, joystick movement will control the place of the shot. So if you're the bottom player, from that perspective, no movement will place the, bottle, the ball in the middle of the court. Up and to the right will place it in the back, right of the opposite court, so you're kind of aiming with the joystick. Down right will place in the lower right, down left will place in the lower left, etc. So, and and reverse. So if you press the button and you're kind of steering where the you want the ball to go, as with his court as your kind of joystick direction, up, left, right, down. Um, S. Ramirez, two thousand eight says looks good. Dan ABC says looks great. That's really good. Um, oh, press doesn't it. help when I. Anyway, it's whatever. Okay, pressing up will back up the opponent. The baseline, since your shot will go to the baseline. Pressing, up. pressing down will do a lob shot, which can go over the opponent. If the button is pressed, this will prevent the player from inadvertently moving while attempting to lob. Hmm. Controls the opposite. If you're the top player, there are three sets. First player to win six games wins the set. First player to win two out of three wins the match. Okay. Ready for two player? Oh, Jesus. <laughs> well, you, have <laughs> you have practice. So let's still play on clay until we're practiced enough. 
Okay, so I am red. Oh, man. Oh, I like the control. What? Who is out? Oh, you are out. Oh. <laughs> Just missed it. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Oof. That was on the line. Oh. Out. In. Oh my god. This is some fast action tennis. Whoa. Oh, way out. Because <laughs> I was moving in that direction. So I was pressing in that Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> this is a lot more variation than the other tennis games for aiming. Do some pretty tricky shots. Oh. oh, I shouldn't touch that one. That was out. Yeah, the control is amazing. Oh, damn it. it. Whoa. Whoa. Darcy's blue and I'm red, for anybody that is wondering. There we go. Oh, out. Sometimes it's not good to press the button when you're running for it because... Because it'll come back quick. Because if you're running to the left for the ball and you're pressing the button, you're going to hit it to the left, which is going to get it out. Oh my god, way out. Out. How do you. Let's see. Okay. Ugh. Damn it. Oop. <laughs> Is it first to. What, is the, what do you have to get up to? Six. Six? Okay. Unless you're playing against the computer and then who knows because uh, <laughs> the computer had six and uh, the game would not end. <laughs> the game would not end. <laughs> ah! Whoa! That is a deadly shot. Oh, I almost 
touch it. Yep, out. Damn it. Damn it. Ah! on the controls <laughs> yeah, don't take them off you know what i mean like the first one even though i have no hands on the controls it came right to me so it still worked <laughs> you move quickly oh my god hit it way too hard Damn it. oh my god so it is six what, what does this go up to i think it's a bug and that i have one and that <laughs> Could be, could be. <laughs> um, where is it? I did read it out. Yeah. Uh, first player to win six games wins the set. And you've won six games there. So I won. You did. So I will play the computer now. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like win. I'm cheating. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to play it on grass. To, uh, oh, no. One player. Come on. Okay, well, I am blue. Oh, whoa, it does. Whoa, see that ball? Erratic. Mm. That adds uh, a bit of challenge. Oh, my God. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Lopped it. Oh, my God. Yeah. yeah. Out him. Out. That was in. Damn it. Switch sides. Oh. It is not easy. Push on grass. Yes. Uh -huh. Tricked him. Oh. <laughs> the ball changed direction. Uh -huh. Still don't have a point yet. No. <laughs> The, uh, the control is incredible. Yeah, yeah. The amount of variation of what where you can hit the ball is so good. See, there I was running to the right. And I should not have pressed the button because it was just too extreme. I, I wasn't able to um, redirect the ball properly. So I'm running to the right and I'm pressing to the right. And the button, it's going to hit to the right. And make it out. No, stop hitting it over there. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> no. Damn it.
Twitch tennis. Twitch tennis. <laughs> it is on Twitch. And there's a lot of uh, controls, a lot of movement. So you yep. have to really be on your game with how you're hitting it. What? And when he adds in um, serving controls, that'll be even better. How much, um, how much tennis do you play, or have you played? Me? Yeah. <laughs> I don't think life. I've ever played tennis ever. <laughs> ever, ever. Never picked up a racket. I mean, I think I have, in fact, hit a. I got a point. <laughs> I I have, you know, hit a tennis ball with a racket. Yeah. But. I think I told my tennis story, um, when we're. Oh yay! <laughs> Just need one more. No! Damn it. Advantage him. Six. See, it keeps going. Well, I'll yeah. play till seven and see what happens. Well, ah, see I'm how freaked out. it's went, six ah. zero? Yes. And then there's more zeros? Oh, it's going down to the next line. I think you have to go... Because once you get to six, it moves to the next one. Oh, I don't know what that means, though. Yeah. Like because there's three sets. Three matches? Yeah. You have to win all three matches? Two out of three. Yeah. Um, when I was in high school, um, I took some um, more advanced courses, and I in grade ten it was yeah grade nine. Nice. Um, I think that was it. Yeah, because we didn't have to take um, PE after grade nine i think hmm. um one way or the other um so the the courses that i was taking did not line up with the grade i was in for their pe like there was it conflicted with another another block mm -hmm. of courses so they placed myself and another person who was taking the same kind of courses in uh, a P grade above myself and they were like these were non-elective people um, or were elective people taking PE hmm. so they were all the huge guys yeah. that wanted to play like rugby and other destructive <laughs> games um, and luckily the PE teacher took pity on us, myself and this other person, <laughs> who were essentially nerds because we're taking all these advanced courses and who were not, you know, let's say the most athletic people, plus taking into account that the rest of the people in the class were like huge dudes. Uh, he took pity on us and let us kind of do our own exercises. And, and he's just like, oh, you can do it, whatever you want. Um, you can, just as long as you're doing something, some exercise. And so we elected to play tennis all year. Huh? That's all we did was got our tennis rackets, went out to the courts and played tennis all year long. Huh. And it was awesome. <laughs> it was so good that we didn't have to do anything. We didn't have to run laps, nothing. Sorry, were you not playing tennis then? We were. We are actually playing tennis. So you were running laps or worse because <laughs> tennis is a lot of friggin running. It is, but it's boring. It's not boring running. Yeah. Running is like, you're just running. There's nothing to do. You're doing, you see the same things over and over again. Um, so I'm not terrible at tennis in real life. I'm nowhere near an expert and I haven't played it in a long time. Um, yeah, I have a point. <laughs> I have one point. Of course, I'm not paying attention. I think this might even be harder than the Activision tennis. It's a good AI. Like, really, really good computer. I should... Oh, you got out. Yeah. Come on, just need this point. Yes! Oh, no advantage. Okay, I have to get one. Yeah, point! <laughs> no. Over there. 
Who were you playing tennis with? Uh, it was uh, Richard M. Ah, that's who I thought. Yeah. I believe. Yeah, I think it was, yeah. Because he was taking pretty much the same courses as me. I think that was, must have been grade 10. I, Not I, 9. I think so. I don't think he showed up until, like, grade 10. Yeah, I think you're absolutely right. Um, so after, you had to take PE until grade 10. After yeah. grade 10, it was not mandatory. Yeah. We'll play, that's a cool way to score it. Yeah, it's a really nice, um, scoring system at the top. Like, you can see it all the time. And not only, like, well, Oh, it's me at the top now. I'm like, why isn't he moving? <laughs> He's not playing well. Yeah, you get to see um, the current um, score and also the sets as well. It's a really, really nice way to uh, yeah, it's, score. Yeah, it's really good. I like having the information there. Yeah, at all times. Um, the characters look awesome. Um, they're animated well. Um, the net's fine. Um, the court looks good. It's a lot of flicker. I think that's the only drawback. But once you're playing, you don't really notice it. It's fine. There is a there is a lot of flicker, and and I think I think somebody could definitely help them out with that um, to reduce at least the flicker on the player. Because really, the racket is one character, and the guy is the other character. So there's no need to have those can all both be solid at all times. Because you, you don't cross paths with the other tennis player at the bottom. So there's no need for, for the flicker. Yeah. Uh, at least with the player, anyway. Um, for the sides, I think... Let me just see. See. Player, one guy is one, one guy is the other. Um, and one is missile zero, and that's missile one. And there's no need for flicker there either. Those can all be, they're all independent and should be able to be drawn um, on their own. Oh, oh, he won both. That's why I'm like, why is that? It's not uh, starting yes, again. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Characters do look good. Other than the flicker, it's a really all around nice game. It yeah, really so it's really is. good. Yeah. It's, I would say it's probably the the best playing, like in terms of strategy. I didn't play... It's the best of all the ones that we that we ran through. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I mean, the net is not as good looking as the real sports net. It had a lot of um, a lot of good graphics in there, and he it's, could, he could replicate a, that one. Honestly, that seems irrelevant to me. Like, this it net is. is perfectly... It's, the net is the totally characters, serviceable. The characters matter so much more than any of the other... Uh, yeah, and you can so. see the red guy in the bottom. He's a little bit taller because he's closer. Yeah, closer. So he's uh, they've and he moves faster because he's got more area to move over. Yeah, so it's really really well done in that respect. Overall, awesome, love it. Good stuff. So games today, uh, save Gaia the Psy Mage. Uh, awesome start. Yeah, really great to the JRPG game. Um. We're looking forward to playing that some more, especially when um, he irons out at least the, the crashes so you can play what he's got done so far. Um, so we'll play it again uh, coming up. And Street Rod, very good start still. Um, not much. I was I was hoping more would be done with it, but at least we can beat, beat the uh, opponent, build up our car, and it is still challenging to beat. Like, you still have to be, like, very precise with your movements. Um, and one versus one pro tennis, awesome as well. Yeah, yeah really good, good. Good round of games. Esther says we're going to need a multi cart with all his one on one games. There you go. Yep, put them all in. Well, I think that one is pretty big. I don't know if you're going to be able to do a multi cart. How big is this? 16k. Yeah, if they're all 16k, you could build them all up and put them on different banks and make a 128k um, cartridge. That'd be like eight, eight games. Yeah, eight, 
eight games at 16k each. Um, yeah, you can make an eight uh, multi-card game, and that'll probably cover all of his uh, sports games. That'd be kind of cool. Um, so, thanks for hanging out with us today. <laughs> when I'm back. <laughs> Just in time. Just in time. Two hours after we started, almost. Um, <laughs> good show, guys. Thanks, Dan. Yeah, we had played some played some fun games. I'm um, glad to be back and doing the regular routine again. So thanks for hanging out, Dan ABC, Astro Mirrors 2008, uh, Arena Foot, I supposed to Generation Two games. Thanks for letting us play your your new game, uh, Ground Trooper, uh, Splendid Nuts, Spartan 581, Dios Kilos 80, uh, Retro Salary Man for subscribing as well. Uh, anybody else? We're back here. Uh, Ground Trooper. I think I said all that. See you Wednesday. Yep, the next show is on Wednesday. And the games we will be playing then. Uh, that's... Um, I think we'll be playing the first part of a full playthrough of Penult. Um, he's been doing minor, minor fixes to the demo of Penalt. So we're going to do a full playthrough of the demo. And I've scheduled it for the next three Wednesdays. Don't know if it'll take that long. Don't know how big um, the game is at this point. For the record, I became Prime the day of the award show. Oh, very nice. Thanks, Dan ABC. The first award show? Not this one. I don't know. When are you going to get that Dan Kitchen exclusive? When Dan Kitchen sends it to us. That's when we get the exclusive. Um, he says he is working on it again. Um, I think he took a little a little break there. I think he was working on some other paid projects, which, of course, always take precedence because you got to eat and live and do all those things. <laughs> um, second award show, February 1st. Oh, awesome. Thanks, Dan ABC. Um yeah, so we're going to get that exclusive when he has something fully put together for the demo. And he may want to do it right before he puts it for sale as like a, you know, almost like an advertisement, a promotion for it. So that we can go, hey, here's the cool game. That's where you can get it. But I'm not sure on his schedule. He might want to have it just fully, fully done. So it's at its best, um, puts it best foot forward. Did you see the Atari t-shirt with the address and phone on the shirt? No. The address and phone on the shirt. Does my <coughs> t-shirt have my address and phone number <laughs> on my shirt? No. Oh, let's take a look at this. Four, oh my goodness. I want to go bigger. 790 Sycamore Drive, Sunnyvale, California. I guess that is the, um, well, that's the address of the old Atari headquarters, because hmm. I know it's in Sunnyvale. That must be their phone number at the time. I feel bad for whoever has it now, I guess. Uh, has anybody phoned that to see see who picks up for, for Atari? <laughs> Hi, what are we playing? We're all done, Steps 88. Sorry, it's all done. Um, yeah, that, that T-shirt's pretty cool. Uh, we played three games today. Save Gaia, the Psy Mage. We had the world premiere of that. We played Street Rod, a um, racing game. And we played One versus One Pro Tennis. All awesome games. So you can rewind Twitch to see us play that or watch it tomorrow on YouTube. Not sure if, that, if that's a valid address, though. I'm sure they would... Oh, it, they may have rejigged the address numbers and redeveloped the land by now. So it might not be the same exact address, but if you punch it into Google... You'll, you'll get around that area. Um, so thanks for hanging out with us this Friday. And you know, like I said, we'll be back on Wednesday with the first of maybe many, or maybe even one, of <laughs> Penalt. Might get it done in two hours. I doubt it, though. I think it's a bit longer than two hours. Might take just two. And then on uh, February 14th, Valentine's Day, Tanya will be here, and we'll be playing... Um, some Brazilian homebrew. We've got uh, a, game, a day full of all Brazilian homebrew from one specific company that huh. I just found out a little while ago. It's like, where have these been hiding? Because they have their own kind of 
eco culture for in and they have their own facebook pages and it's all in portuguese so you can't read it but i found out all about them and um so we'll be playing those games i'm in contact with the developer and he sent me the most updated versions and uh yeah you can read about all the rest of the the uh schedule on the atari age uh forums yes brazil day brazil <laughs> day yeah all brazil day uh next friday with tanya um so thanks for hanging out and we are out of here and we will see you on wednesday 11 a.m pacific time we'll see you then bye bye <laughs> <laughs>